So you're probably wondering why we got a table full of trash. And that's because during last night's video, we wanted to include unboxing a bunch of stuff. Well, guess what? Chris f***ed up. Yeah, big time. During the video, I walked around the other side of the table and unplugged the camera and completely lost every piece of data that we had about that unboxing video. So our friend Carlos Q sent us some really cool things. We already know what they all are now, Heather. The surprise is out of the f***ing bag. Uh, the box. They were boxed. Out of the box. Do you really have to make things worse? You made things worse by making me record this again. Huh? So we're going to show you everything that Carlos Q sent us and another friend of ours sent us something really cool as well. So we have a lot of things to show you here. It's going to be really exciting for you, but not for us at all because we already know what's inside the boxes. Well, it's still exciting. I mean, it's exciting, but it's not as exciting as it was before because I everything up so yeah well i mean do you expect anything different nothing new that happens all the time okay so here's the plan heather because we were excited last night but we lost all the information now we know what everything is we're going to be double excited for everything that we see here we're going to go way over the top for everything that we see no matter what it is are you ready hey remember last night how you up really bad and lost all of our data sure if you want to remind me for the fourth time in the video so far yeah okay it's actually been like six okay. but anyhow uh, okay i ain't afraid of no ghost oh my god a letter from carlos q uh -uh. yeah hold on let me read it i want to read it no i want to read it no i want to i have it. more enthusiasm i'm more excited here we go hope you all enjoy this no Hope you all enjoy this first piece. You guys keep mentioning it, and I think you will all enjoy it. You can do what you want with it. Either trade it, sell it, burn it, stomp on it, bury it, blow it up, throw it over a bridge, or have it as a giveaway. But I think you'll keep it for your collection. Isn't that amazing? Dot, 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 dot. Is it? with a devil emoji. During last night's video before I failed everything, it was a really funny experience for us. So it we're was. gonna make it even more fun this time, Heather. How can we do that? We already traded it, then sold it, then we burnt it and stomped on it. We buried it, we blew it up, we threw it over a bridge, and we already gave it away as a giveaway item. Look what he sent us! Oh my God, it's a huge carnage! Yeah, remember all the videos where we talked so much about carnage and we said it was horrible and that no one should buy it because it was so stupid looking and we called it a big stupid f***ing meatball? Do you remember that? Well guess what? It's still f***ing ugly and actually it's even uglier in 10 inch form. During yesterday's video we showed you guys this guy out of the box but of course you didn't see it because I f***ed everything up. If you turn it around it no longer looks like a meatball, now it looks like a piece of meatloaf. It was really weird timing because Meatloaf actually had passed away. We received the news yesterday, which was really sad. Meatloaf, rest in peace. Rest in peace, Meatloaf. You were the loaf of my life. And then I did a weird gang sign thing because I didn't have anything to pour one out for my homies. So I did like a weird... Why are we doing this part again? This was like the worst part of the whole I video. I know, you're right. I'm just a f***ing idiot, okay? But at least I didn't unplug the cord to the camera, okay? Carlos also sent us a bunch of shirts. It's a Sugar Skull Thanos that looks really cool. I also received this Mischief shirt that looks like Loki with the Misfits character underneath. But it also has a third meaning because of Mischief Toys. And I also got this Robocop shirt from Funko. And I got a Coco Sugar Skull shirt. So now me and Chris, we're gonna wear our Sugar Skull shirts around on the same day. We're gonna be hitting the town. And then I got this rap album shirt. It's Jason Voorhees and Freddy Krueger. And look, Freddy, he's doing gang signs for Meatloaf too. Oh my God, he is. And then I got a feeling very, I don't give a f 
ish today shirt. That's a pretty good shirt because Heather feels that way every day. Every day. He also sent me this scaler Spider Man and Iron Man from San Diego Comic Con 2014. Three pack of horror pocket pops, and I love these. I got another set of pocket pops. I got Sally, Jack, and Oogie Boogie. Those are pretty cool. He also yeah. sent Heather this. I got an Albus Dumbledore pop pin. Isn't that awesome? I got a glow in the dark Sally and a glow in the dark Jack and they're made of metal. They're metal figs. They came in these boxes and they glow really bright. Wait a minute. What? I'm starting to realize why the video got cut short last night. Because you wanted to glow them in the dark. So that meant I had to go and look for this. And when I went to look for this, I ended up unplugging the camera, which is why we lost all the information. So when it comes down to it, Heather, it was your fault. No, it wasn't because you also received something that was glow and you wanted to glow it. Remember last night when I told you to go get that thing and I called it a glow stick because I couldn't figure out what its name was called? I want to hear that dirty little mouth say it. Say what? That glow it was your stick? fault. Truthfully, I did go look for the black light flashlight because I wanted to glow this guy. He sent me the 2014 Glow in the Dark Slimer from SDCC, the 2500 piece Funko Pop. This thing is awesome. It is amazing. This is a super grail Funko Pop, something that I never thought I would end up getting. Dude, I cannot believe you sent this to me. I am over the moon for this. It's awesome. So do you want to try to glow everything in the dark or yeah, you, it's a really you want to try idea. to end the video right now and then like, the and then have to do another video no. because you want to glow them in the dark? No, we should just, we should just not. We're going all the way. We're showing them glowing in the dark. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at all that glow in the dark goodness. That Slimer looks awesome. They are glowing hard. What? They're glowing hard. They're glowing hard. Yeah, they're really trying hard to glow good. <laughs> so something I just accidentally noticed, I promise you nothing weird. She has a screw oh my God. in her downstairs. That is horrible. Talk about being screwed. So Carlos Q, again, you're amazing, you're amazing, you're amazing. Thank you so much. And also Carlos Q sent us an Iron Spider helmet for Max as well. And Max absolutely loves it. And here's a photo of Max wearing that helmet. Carlos Q, you're the man. I can't say it enough. You're awesome. And I appreciate everything you do for us. We owe you big time. We love you, Carlos. All right, so this isn't the only grail we received. We also received from Sean F., a good friend of the channel, Back to the Future, Freddy Funko, limited to 2K pieces. This is a Freddy I really wanted when the Boxes of Fun came out in 2021, but I was unable to get it. We literally got everything but this Freddy. So a big thank you to our friend, Sean F., you are the man. Thank you so, so much, Sean. This is awesome. What's cool about this is that my son and I collect all of the Back to the Future Funko Pops that we can possibly get our hands on. And this was one that we had our eyes on since we first saw it. So this is actually going to go in my son's room with all of his other Back to the Future Funko Pops. And thank God Sean sent it in a really extra sturdy box because... Accidents happen up there. Well, there he is. He looks awesome out of the box. So I actually have this Marty McFly on the hoverboard like this. It's literally just the same body with Freddy Funko's head on it, which is okay with me. Are you kidding me? You know, while I'm packing this up, I do want to show you that this is a seven pucks of pop pop shield armor and these things are amazing. If you want one of these, you can head over to 7bucksapop.com right now and buy yourself one. It has a magnetic sealing lid and they are super, super strong. These things are not like the Funko Pop protectors. This thing is way more strong and it's way more sturdy and it's gonna keep your top pops like this guy right here in very good shape. Not to be confused with top pops on YouTube, he cannot fit in here. Head over to 7 and get your Pop Shield armor for your most valuable Funko Pops. They won't crack on you, they won't break on you. They are absolutely incredible and we wouldn't be telling you that if we didn't believe it. Go to 7 the the more you buy, the more you save, and trust me, once you get your hands on a pack of these, you're gonna want more. Yeah. Whoa! What? I don't know if Seven Bucks Pop would like that involved in their Enthusiasm. Ad. That's too much. That's a little overboard you on know enthusiasm. What you are? That's too much. You know what? what you are? What am I, enthusiasm. Heather? Enthusiasm. And I'm enthusiasm. Enthusiasm? 
Yes. So as you can see, we have some really good friends. So a big shout out to you guys out there. Thank you so much again. We appreciate all this. Guys, what do you think about all the things that were sent to us by Carlos Q and Sean F? And what was your favorite part? And do you have any of these items right here? We would love to know. Let us know all that and more in the comment section down below. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we like to shout out to Craig Matthews, Aaron Manuel, Mac the Ball, Celeste Crawford, Josh Swan, Shane Toner, Nikki Papadop, Bobby Donut, Rodrigo E., and Kevin Tunenberg. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons from Patreon. You guys rock. All right, guys, that time again. Remember, as always, we're hot together. Yes, we'll catch you next time. Bye.